Hello guys. In this simulation tutorial, I will explain you that how we can interface an LDR or light dependent resistor with the Arduino Uno or how we can make a light detector or dog detector circuit with the help of Arduino Uno inside the Tinkercad. For it, first of all, you need to go to the basic components and click basic then move some bit down and here you can see your Arduino Uno R3 let drag it out after it you need to search for LDR or you can randomly search it out by moving down and here you can see that we have our LDR LDR is a very basic component inside the electronic kit so you hopefully you have this in your basic circuit kit so there are two terminal uh, one terminal is terminal 1 and the second is the terminal 2 and there isn't any sort of concept of polarity so you can invert it or connect as it is it is of no such importance so we will take one dry cell or like uh, any cell like coin cell like this okay so actually what will happen that when when light is there it will conduct and when there isn't any sort of light it will be have a more like a resistor or its resistance varies with the intensity of light means that more is the light more is the conductance and less will be the light less will be the will be the conductance so we need to connect the negative side of this cell with the ground of the Arduino okay like this and this one okay now we can connect this with a0 so how it how it is going to work it will work because we know that the signal will come from this positive 3 volt lithium coin battery cell so from this side 3 volt is applied via this LDR to the analog 0 pin of the Arduino so when light when more light is there more conductance will be there and we can see some more voltages on the A0 but if there is like more resistance less light and more resistance then voltages will be dropped and we just can uh, read them out so we also need to write some code for it okay like uh, here we need to write serial dot begin we are writing it because we want to see that because we want to see our output on the serial monitor okay so in wide loop we need to delete all this wide loop simply means that this is a function or loop which is which will continuously run again and again so we will declare a variable that is integer y is equal to analog read of a0 int t is equal to map of y comma 0 comma 10 comma 0 comma 255 then semicolon so what these two lines means that analog read function will read all the analog values on pin a0 and store it inside the y 
then all the values will go inside the variable y then map function will map this uh, variable y and all its values on x axis it will uh, like piece it down in 1024 points and on y axis it will be uh, having like 256 points like quantization now analog signal is quantized like from uh, 255 means from 0 to 255 means that on 0 volt it will read 0 and on 5 volt it will read 255 so and this means that in one second uh, Arduino will read 1024 samples like in one second it will read for 1024 times so we will write seal dot print ln so what will be here sorry is t okay it will be be displayed on the serial monitor with serial dot print ln command and delay of 200 means 200 millisecond delay so we will start our simulation we will start okay serial monitor it is uh, showing us 153 okay now we will increase the what's called as the voltage however it's not going to change it's 153 and 153 okay we need to stop and we will again run it Okay, we need to see the code. Okay, it's 153 again. Okay. Okay, we, we, we will insert some sort of resistor inside it so that we can observe well values so we will take this resistor out and its values must be like uh, 0 0.1 kilo ohm and uh, we will connect it like here like this and then here okay like uh, with a zero and the second with the ground of the Arduino here like it okay now we will run it okay now you can see that now our photoresistor or LDR is going to respond okay now you can see that when we are going to increase the light conduct more conductivity will be there and more values will be shown on the serial monitor so here you can see its output so it is maximum is 24 and minimum is 0 or 1 2 okay so hopefully you got the concept regarding how to use the photoresistor within the tinkercad so thanks for watching